Hello there and welcome to the History of Still Photography. I'm Michelle Bukanski brock I'll be your instructor this semester. This course design tutorial has been put together just to quickly introduce you to a couple of major um, areas of the course and orient you to them. I know your first look at an online class is overwhelming and I also know that every instructor does things differently which adds to your confusion. So um, let's just take a few minutes to take a look at the course together and then you can get rolling on your own. Okay, so what you see here um, on your screen to point out first of all over on the left is what I refer to is as the course navigation menu, these gray rectangles. And those are all buttons. Each one will take you into a different area of the course. Over on the right, or I should say in the center of the screen, you see a couple of things. At the top right now, you see a banner that says welcome. That banner will change every week. Every time we start a new unit, that banner will change. And it's basically a a technique I use just to kind of change your environment every time you log into the class and it's a nice visual uh, reflection and reminder of the topic that we're studying at that time. Down below the banner you see our announcements. It's titled announcements and um, the most current announcement that I share with you will always be listed at the top of the page if you're familiar with blogs, it's like a blog. So the most current one is always at the top. It's really important to um, look beyond that though. Right now there's only one. But for example, sometimes I will post more than one announcement in a day if there's some if there's you know something going on I need to keep updating you. So you if you haven't logged in, logged into the course in you know two days, let's say you may have a few announcements that you'll want to read. So be sure that you are always up to date on the announcements. That's really critical. Okay, so back over here in the navigation menu, you've already found the check-in area. That's great. I'm going to click on syllabus and you'll see what that does. If you haven't clicked on syllabus yet, this is what you see. At the top, you have the option or you don't have the option. This is required. This is where you will download the syllabus, which is available to you in a PDF format. You'll want to click there. It is a large file. It's more than six megabytes, so um, that might take a little time to download. Um, if that's a problem for you, you can send me an email and I can send you a condensed file that won't look quite as nice, but I can help you out with that, okay? So that's how you download the syllabus. When you download it, um, I want you to either print it out or have it open on your screen and as you read it, I want you to access what you see down below. This is an example of a voice thread, and a voice, voice thread is a tool that you're going to be using a lot in this class. Usually, as we move forward with the units, you are going to be commenting and participating in these voice threads. This one is not one that you need to leave any comments in. If you want to, you can, and you're going to learn how to do that when you get into unit one. But I have shared, basically, I've shared the syllabus in a voice thread and you click on these thumbnails, these tiny little icons down here just one time and it's going to pan out and show you all the files or the slides within that voice thread. So this contains all eight pages of our syllabus. I'm going to go back to the first page and then to play it you just click the arrow at the bottom and it will start to play. Hey there everyone, welcome to the history of still photography online. So that's my video comment. And then over here I have a text version of the same thing. Uh, so it gives you the option to either listen and watch me, listen to and watch me, or read my comment. And the same thing will happen on each page. So here, now the intent of this is not to read the syllabus to you. The intent of this is to basically provide an overview of some of the major, most important parts of the syllabus, just like I would do if we were in a face-to-face -face class. You can click one time on any slide to zoom in also, but just remember that this is not intended to be a replacement for your syllabus. It's intended to supplement the full size document that you have printed out in front of you. So don't try to read this little screen. That's not what it's for. 
Okay, so that's the syllabus. Um, next, let's take a look at learning units. I'm going to click on the learning units button. Now, if you click there now, depending on when you're in the course, you're either going to see nothing if you're here really early, or you may see unit one getting started. I will be releasing these units to you one at a time as we progress with the course. The units, the learning units in our course, you will learn when you read our syllabus, are released on Tuesday mornings, except for the first one. We start that on a Monday since our course starts on a Monday. But our learning units generally throughout the rest of the course are always released on a Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. and they're always due the following Monday at 11 p.m. That's critical to your success. I urge you to log in every single Tuesday morning. And what I urge you to do on that Tuesday morning is open the learning unit that is new in the learning units area and check it out. And what you'll want to do is there will always be an announcement from me at the top, just like you see here. The announcement will appear in video and you can click on it to play it right here in the course. Hello and welcome to the history of or if you don't want to watch or, or listen to the video, or if you can't watch or listen to the video, you have the option to click on the transcript. There'll always be a link to a transcript at the top, and that will open a text-based transcript that you can read. The content of the video and the transcript are always the same, so that's your option. Choose one of those two. After you access the announcement, what I want you to do is read the learning objectives. There will always be a series of learning objectives. And what these are are your learning milestones for that unit. They tell you essentially what you're expected to be able to do by the time you complete the unit. Okay, those might be new to you. Not every course is designed this way, but I think they're really important. And they also communicate to you that this course is really anchored towards your learning. Now the meat of every learning unit is going to be inside of a folder called Content and Activities. This is the last thing I want you to check out every Tuesday. It doesn't mean you need to do everything on Tuesday, but what you'll want to do is open up that folder because it's going to show you what you're expected to do. And there will be weeks where we start to fall into a pattern and things start to feel very regular. And you can look at it and go, okay, this is really similar to what we did last week. But there's going to be weeks where you come in and it's going to be very different. And what I don't want to have you do is wait until later in the week, expect everything to be very similar, and then realize it's a week where we're really changing things up. So I want you to know that about this class. Um, you know, we there are, there, are, there are patterns in the class where we'll go through a series of weeks where things are very consistent, and then we'll change it up a bit. So it's up to you to log in early get your arms around what's expected of you for the week, and then plan the rest of your week accordingly. A successful student will log into this course at least two to three times a week. So plan your studying accordingly. Okay, when you study is up to you. So that's the learning units area. I'd also like to show you the Ning Studio. When you click on Ning Studio, you're going to be taken to a page that will look like this. And frequently at the start of a class, I get questions about what you see up here. Students read this that says, membership is by invitation only. If you have an invitation, click the link in the email to join. I would like to make it clear that you will not be receiving an email from me to join Ning. The link to join Ning is included in your first learning unit, the Getting Started unit. It's a simple link that you will click on 
and when you click on that link you'll basically just have a form to fill out and then you'll be able to access our Ning Studio. I'm not going to take you into Ning now because I have lots of explanation and videos built into that process along the way, but I think you'll find it a really um, fun and engaging tool to participate in our class with. In Ning, you will be granted your very own blog and in our learning units, I will give you prompts um, to which you will go into Ning and write responses to and they're very creative prompts and they're really meant to um, to engage you to pull you together in a community you'll be responding to each other's prompts um, and they're also pretty creative too so I, I think you'll students usually really enjoy Ning. Okay, um, so the last thing, well a couple more things real quick, I'm going to skip over VoiceThread, that's really um, just a support page. Well, let me click on it real quick. That's a support page that I have set up for you that you'll take a look at in Learning Unit 1. And it just kind of gets you oriented to what VoiceThread is. The Hangout area is a, um, where you can learn about what Hangouts are. Um, Hangouts are part of Google Plus and I will be making myself available to you all through Google Hangouts. Uh, it's a way that we can communicate with each other if you're interested in doing that. It's, um, it is optional. I'm not going to require you to join Hangouts, but um, past students have really enjoyed that option. So uh, follow the steps included here if you think you might want to participate in Hangouts with me. And that is something you can request throughout the class. If you feel like you need a live video communication with me, you can request to hang out and we can set that up. And as we move forward with the class and we get closer to your final project, the Photographer Showcase, I'll actually be scheduling some hangout times and making myself available to anyone who wants to join me. And then the Ask a Question area is a forum I have set up where I want you to share questions, general course questions that you have. This is a way for me to um, make use of our course as a community. So oftentimes students have questions that lots of other students have too. So post them here and I will respond as quickly as I can. If you have personal questions though about your own situation or if your question ever pertains to a grade, you should always bring those to me my attention directly through email. The My Grades area is where you would click to check your grades and that's something I always want you to be proactive about and I will even be assigning you grade checks throughout the semester so you always know what your grade is. About Michelle will tell you more about me. Extra credit, click there to learn about extra credit and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so that should do it for our course design tutorial. I'm looking forward to learning with you all and I hope you have a fabulous semester.